This is calculator question number four from practice test three in the 2018 SAT book. It's practice test seven in the 2020 book. College Board gives us a table of values for a linear function and asks which of these can match the function. One way of doing this is to plug in points. I'd like to plug in the last point because College Board expects you to start at the first point. So the last point is least likely to work in the most values. So I put n equals four. 4 minus 3 is 1, which is not 7, so I know choice that A is wrong. A equals 4 here, twice 4 is 8, minus 4 is 4, which is not 7, so choice B is wrong. Neither one matches F of N for N equals 4. Let's try N equals 4 and choice C. 3 times 4 is 12, minus 5 is 7. That matches, so it could be right, but that's not guaranteed. Let's try choice D. 4 times 4 would be 4N when N is 4, is 16, minus 6 is 10. That's not, not 7, so D is wrong. C is the only choice that matched N equals 4, so it must be the correct answer. Remember, we're trying to find the right answer, and that doesn't always require doing the algebra. Sometimes it's just finding it from a list of four choices where you've identified three of them as wrong. Let's try another method. It's called finding the first differences. So 1 minus Negative 2 is 1 plus 2 is 3. 4 minus 1 is 3. 7 minus 4 is 3. Each time n goes up by 1, the difference in y values is 3. So our first differences are constant, which tells us it's linear, but we already knew that. But our first, distant, our first difference is also 3, which is the slope of the linear function, and the only choice with a slope of 3 is choice C. The others have slopes 1, 2, and 4, so we know that they're wrong because our first difference is the slope and our first difference is 3. Either method gives you the correct answer. Just take whichever one you prefer, or even put the answer choices in your calculator and see which one gives you the correct table of values. College Board always asks you about linear equations. It's the most heavily tested topic, so make sure you can do these quickly so you have more time for the other questions. And come back soon for my next math video with math there's always more.